Hey guys, King Jad here. A little blast from the past to share with you guys. Now, I was on the That Being Said 1K subscriber special podcast earlier on. I was a pleasure to be a part of that. I had to bail a wee bit, you know, earlier than I had to, so I'm actually catching up with the rest of it now, as I, you know. But while during that podcast, when I was there, um, the story got revealed that um, Phil was so cheap when he moved to Washington that he was going to pay the movers to put his bed together with a shout out. Yeah, and, and people, some people are losing their damn minds. People thought it was false. People didn't think it was true. It's true, people. I have the video to show it. A three minute video, here's like three and a half minutes or something, Phil's video. Near disaster. Movers have a labour dispute. You have to see it to, be, to believe it, really. But here's the whole context. Yes, it doesn't work, though. Cut up a batteries in it. So it's 9 p.m., everyone. Uh, yeah, that's right. We did one vlog earlier today, and now it's freaking 9 p.m. The movers came around, I want to say around 6.30. Took them about two hours to get everything in here, okay? The place is a huge mess. We're going to be unpacking for days. Just take a look at the living room. And that's just the living room. Every room looks like that, if not worse, okay? And unfortunately, it didn't go as I would have liked. Here's what happened. So they show up, and there's a guy driving the van who quite obviously is Polish. I mean, what's wrong with that? Phil is part Polish himself, a quarter Polish. He's as much Polish as he's Italian. And yet he has to bring up the guy's ethnicity as an issue. Because he's very heavy accent, looks Polish, you know, speaks almost Polish. You heard him speaking... I'm not familiar with the Polish people because of where I come from, there's no Polish. He was speaking Polish on a phone to someone, to his operator. I think the whole, the whole uh, company that we've been dealing with is all, like, Polish-owned. So, anyway, he's got two guys with him who... I know one Polish phrase, it's Spierdalaj Grubajewko, means fuck off fat bitch, and I think we can use it on Phil. I'm in a separate pickup truck who are not, they're very much American, one, one you know, white guy and one, uh, one black guy, and they're helping, they're basically like, listen, we don't, work, you know, we don't work for the company, we're just contracted to help with the move, we're, we're helping him today. So they get everything in, which was good. They got everything in fast. It was about an hour and a half, I want to say, and everything was in. But then the two guys were like, all right, we're leaving. And I'm like, now, wait a minute. You know, my bed, you got to assemble my bed. There's all this other stuff that you guys disassembled back in Connecticut that you said you were going to reassemble. That was part of the deal. To which the guy goes, well, I'm not contracted to do that. We were only supposed to be here for moving stuff, and that's it. So I don't understand where this is coming from. And then the, the Polish guy says, no, you don't understand. You know, you were contracted to, to work a certain amount of time and you didn't do it yet. And the guy's like, yes, we did. We actually worked longer than we promised you we were going to work. So literally in the middle of the street, I'm not even kidding you, right here out in the middle of the street, there was they were having a labor dispute. In guys, right there, right there, right through the gap in the blinds, right there in the middle of the street was where they were having this labor dispute and they were having a big argument. Oh, my. In the middle of my street. <laughs> And I was like, these two guys are going to start fighting in the middle of the street. Unbelievable, right? So the issue was that the Polish guy didn't have any tools. So if these other two guys left, no one could assemble my bed. And obviously, I can't do it. I don't have the tools for it. And I don't know how to do it, nor can I do it because of my bed. Excuses, excuses, excuses galore. But wait, this is the good bit, guys. Phil had a genius solution. What do you think he did? This is what he did. So we almost had a disaster today. Luckily, I pulled the guy aside, the guy who was independently contracted, and I said, listen, I got a little, this, a little uh, gig on YouTube that, you know, about 300 million views in a few years, and I'm going to give you guys a nice shout out if you stick around and you help me out. And he said, okay, fair enough. I gave him some water. He was pleased after that. He went and he put the bed together. So we'll show you the upstairs when we get to the upstairs. Right now, I'm not going to even give him the plug yet. I want to kind of do it later because I don't want people to, oh! Already people will start, but he is a nice guy. His name's Mike, uh, Mike Clark. Hey, thanks, Mike Clark, for going above and beyond the call of duty. You got your shout out. Congratulations. All it cost you was probably about like a, an extra hour's worth of uncontracted effort. By the way, I didn't mean to pause at this point, but look at the box we create. Booze. Glasses plus booze. And I'll give out his information later. Don't want to do it now simply because oh, we're in the middle of stuff. And But anyway, yes. So luckily... G fuel everywhere. Yeah, it's all my energy drinks. 
Yeah, and Phil used to drink a whole ton of G Fuel back in the goddamn day. But yeah, Phil, so, uh, uh, earlier on today, this very day on the 14th of August 2022, Phil was just trying to say, I'd never get like starstruck. I think it's kind of dumb, whatever. And it's like, I'm just, I'm amazed that people can get starstruck with me because I'm just, I'm just a normal person like everyone else. Back in 2014, he was all Billy Big Boss and he's fucking just shrugging. I got all this fucking YouTube clout, 300 million fucking views. I'll give you guys a shout out if you fucking make us bed up. Get to it. Come on, chop, chop. We're getting fucking sleepy over here. Make our bed. Make Clark. This is the. F- I mean, as some people cannot believe this happened, here you go, guys. It happened. This is on Phil's channel the king of hate vlogs which he's rebranded as something else which doesn't really mean anything i'd like what did he call oh yeah he calls it the dsp's vlog and archives if you go to his thing oh would you, would you look at that i went to his archive channels and it still says king of hate vlogs what do you know it's still the king of hate no matter how hard phil tries to pretend he's not the king of hate I just had to share a wee video, guys, to show you. I'm going to go back and watch the rest of that being said podcast. I'm going to link this podcast down below. It was a pleasure to be a part of it, you know. But I just thought I'd share this bit of old DSP lore. It may have been forgotten or it may have just happened long before people became detractors. But now you know. This has been King Jad. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.